Apologies in advance if I sound very tired or if I'm somewhat quiet. I'm recording this at 4 in the morning because I couldn't really fall asleep and I'm also, I'm also on the grind. I'm on that grind. You know, I gotta get stuff done because I have like no time for myself. Anyways, let's pick a, let's pick a, let's pick out of the hat of content. What are we talking about today? And it's uh, layout channels. So funny enough, Chris, one of the more memorable members of the layout community, wanted me to make a panda talk about layout channels after I had uploaded my video on ranking channels about six months ago. And at the time, I kind of just said that I didn't have much of an idea on or an opinion of layout channels, which is a partial truth. I do have my opinions, but I wanted to hold it off because I was juggling other video ideas as well. I wanted my video to be objective and personally I kind of have some opinions like layout channels aren't really my cup of tea but you know I'll get into that later on now I feel like a summary of what layout channels wouldn't really be necessary but because of all of the stuff that has happened over the past year I think we need a timeline of events so layout channels are basically as the name entails a bunch of channels dedicated to rendering music on a layout most of the community that is involved with monster cat obviously render in many different iterations of the monster cat visualizer old layout stars layout and the new layout of which then begin to go into tons of different subcategories one of the things personally that i don't like about layout channels is the whole notion of making so many categories that honestly in my humble opinion are just overkill they have an unnecessary amount of channels and they could all really just be summed up into less than three channels the counter argument of that would be that if you were to make one mega layout channel to if you sub to that you would get bombarded with notifications to which my counter argument would just be that making 10 layout channels is spam in and of itself regardless of whether or not people subscribe the only difference of course is that you get to choose and pick of the 10 channels while subscribing to one mega channel of course like said earlier would make a massive mess in your subscription feed. They dilute their channel names into acronyms which does have some consistency but after reading a couple I start to lose myself and I could not be bothered to remember what they stand for. There's OSNL, OSSL, EPSNL, EPSSL, EPS, OL, MUSSL, MUS, OL, MISSL, MIS, OL, and that's just to name a few. Now, back in my day, or at least about a couple of years ago, the layout channels were arguably the biggest Monster Cat related channels, with around 20,000 plus subscribers on the main channel that is OSNL. That was until a change in enforcement to Monster Cat's trademarking, which ended up terminating a ton of channels, most of which were the layout channels. Now the most subscribed of the bunch is EPSNL with under just 500 subscribers. For those who don't understand what Monster Cat's trademark has to do with this, it's basically Monster Cat having to crack down on the use of their logo and branding and their name due to legal issues. To maintain your trademark, you have to make sure that there aren't channels that are supposedly impersonating, I'm gonna put that in quotation marks, and as YouTube is, the platform immediately terminated a ton of channels that were against Monster Cat's trademark rules. To this day, the alt channel community is still feeling the effects of copyright. A lot of their videos continue to be globally blocked on a mass scale for reasons not many people are particularly able to understand. From some of the screenshots that I have seen that they have sent, their reasons as always is vague and dances around the answer, while also exhibiting, to agree, some hypocrisy. I'm going to put that aside as I don't particularly feel like this video is the right one to be discussing copyright. It's also not my fight to fight and I don't have the whole story, so I'm not going to really go on about this and I'm just going to close it for now. Back on track to the layout channels today, I think the fire and dedication behind the massive team has definitely died out. Though I may not like the idea of layout channels and how they executed their project, I can emphasize the issues and struggles that they had to deal with. And at the end of the day, it seems like the alt channels will just end up being lost and maybe left incomplete for a long time. Now I know I said at the beginning I would be talking about layout channels, and I have only talked about the alt layout channels, so for inclusion's sake I will be quickly covering Cypher. Cypher Music, or more originally known as NMSNL, yeah just another bunch of random letters, is a promotional channel whose only correlation with Monster Cat is the similar visualizer. At least that's their correlation now. Back then when they still had NMSNL, there was the acronym with Monster Cat, so the correlation was a lot tighter, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Unlike the alt channels, however, Cypher has been actually winning all of their fights, at least it seems so from the outside. 
They have been terminated once before, if I recall correctly, and they have had a number of narrow terminations from copyright strikes to the matrix dodge of the trademark terminations. Cypher Music has managed to amass about 78,000 subscribers, and it does not look like they are slowing down. I just looked at their community tab and they've been hosting some polls. It looks like they may just be a layout channel for a little while longer if they decide to change their visuals like they may seem to be planning here. This would definitely be for the better for them. They have been working very adamantly to be separating their association from Monster Cat and should they decide to do this they will be able to continue to grow as an independent layout channel. Of course with the layout not really included anymore it would just be a channel. Now in retrospect a number of people I bet subscribe for the layout so I guess only time will really tell what will happen to the channel. Channel. Small side note, supposedly it's illegal whenever I mention that I'm not subscribed to Cypher Music. Frankly, I'm not interested in their music or the layout. I don't feel any obligation to subscribe just because they used to be quote unquote Monster Cat related. Do keep in mind that just because I'm not interested doesn't mean they have bad content, though I will say I cannot recall a good interaction that I've had with their staff. They do upload good music and do seem to be managing well, so kudos to them for managing all this and I hope they continue to prosper. Maybe they'll be getting that 100k sub button, who knows. Anyways, that's all I can really say when it comes to the history and the random opinion here or there. In conclusion, I personally think layout channels are useless and just not necessary. I think people who still like the old layout need to let go and move on. Yes, they look pretty... Well, not all of them look pretty, but at the end of the day, I listen to music. I don't really come for visuals. They're not as useless as I would say as like looping channels. I mean, obviously there is the niche community for people who like dancing bars and hey, good for them. It's just not for me. Some people seem to think that I have some sort of personal vendetta against layout channels and trust me, I don't. I do have to say that sometimes some layout people complain about stuff that I really cannot empathize for. To name a couple things, long render times, upload times, and after effects issues. If I'm going to be completely honest, literally anyone who does anything with After Effects, especially with visualizers, and them complaining as if their issues are somehow a bigger deal, or that they put more effort, or that they somehow other people won't understand them, it just doesn't really make me feel bad for them. We're on the same team, man. There's no need to fight over who has more keyframes. Don't mind me throwing some shade. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was as objective and as opinionated as it needed to be. Frankly, this is one of the few times that while you guys are open to discussing, I'm not looking to get my mind changed, so I don't want to see someone calling me out on some kind of debate. But if you guys did make it this far, comment what I should talk about next. As well, comment what your favorite planet within our solar system is. Anyways, that's all for me. I'm the Olympics 19. It's 420 Lamau. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.